When you're out driving your high performance vehicle, one of the major concerns everybody has is how do you keep that engine cool? The folks at Delta PAG have really come up with a unique way to get that problem solved. Uh, John, tell us a little bit about your product and, Thanks, and what Jerry. you've come up with. Yeah, we're here demonstrating our patented brushless motor cooling fan. Uh, it's a very efficient, very yeah, well, powerful. I'm sorry, I mean interrupt. Brushless. What do you mean brushless? Right. Well, a brushless motor has three major benefits. One, it's a very small, power dense motor. That means it's small, compact, and yet it's able to do a lot of work. Okay. The other thing, it's very efficient. So it's, it draws very little amps while it's operating. Uh, also, it's infinitely programmable. You could adjust the on and off temperature, the speed, and also has soft start, so it slowly starts up, so there's no inrush current. What about the electronics now? Are they down in here? We're gonna have to buy a whole new fan? Absolutely not, no. Uh, there are no electronics in the motor. There are no sensors, no nothing. The only thing that's in there is uh, stator, magnets, and uh, hybrid ceramic bearings. The life of this motor is 50,000 hours. Wow. And, may, uh, we all, may we all drive our, right. our uh, high performance vehicles A that conventional long. brush motor fan is about 2,000 hours. So, um, but our electronics, just like all electronics, they have less life than bearings. They're 9,000 hours. So after about 9,000 hours, you could just easily, without any tools, remove our electronics, oh, slides right out, nice. and it's waterproof. They're vacuum encapsulated. And then if you have one of these in your glove box, after 9,000 hours, if you can't keep track of time, you could just pop one back in and you're good to go for another 9,000 hours versus buying a complete kit over again. And also not having to replace right. the entire and you, fan Right, and you don't have to remove it, nothing. Just replace that. This motor is bulletproof for 50,000 hours, which is more than the life of your, your vehicle. As you can see, we bought our power supply here. Uh, you see voltage and amp draw. Uh, amp draw is zero because it's not really doing anything. It's not on yet. You turn on the ignition and you have our temp speed controller. Uh, this is an optional controller. Uh, you don't need it because you could use our LS wiring harness, which is plug and play with OEM computers and aftermarket computers. So with that your have LS control. wiring, you do not need yes. to get this, but so, that's just. And idea. you will save some money uh, on uh, overriding our, our temp speed controller. But with our temp speed controller, you have a lot of benefits, a lot of functionality. Uh, you have a choice of Celsius or Fahrenheit. It displays the, uh, the temperature of the vehicle. Uh, you could program the on temperature to whatever you'd like to the degree. You could program the off temperature to whatever you like to the degree. And you could also adjust the speed of the fan. So if the full 2800 CFM is more than what you require, you could reduce the speed, it reduces amp draw, it reduces noise. So again, the on temperature is 150, the off temperature is 120. So as the temperature increases, what you'll notice is the fan slowly starts up, so there is no harsh inrush current. Stand, stand back from that. We also brought our anemometer with us so we could prove to you the airflow. As you can see, it shows 12.5 amps during its operating. So around 3,000 CFM, we rate our fan at 2,800 behind a two and a quarter inch core. So that's the real, real airflow that you will be seeing. So and you're about 12 amps at 3,000 for your flow. compared to some yes. of the others on the... Bingo. So as the temperature drops at 120, again, we program the fan to shut off automatically. And there you go. Wow. Wow. Well, that, uh, that, certainly, that certainly does the job. We're brushless. What about mounting it? I, I, I see right. you've got it mounted to this, but if so we're going to mount this to, to our, our, our right. shroud or our, our radiator core. Right, there's two major ways of mounting this. One, you can mount it with the plastic straps through the core. That's a standard way of a lot of people doing it. Now, since the motor is small and light, you won't create a lot of damage to that core by mounting it that way. The other way is we could fabricate for you a custom aluminum shroud. This is completely custom, uh -huh. CAD designed. We'll send you a 3D PDF and dimension sheet via email for your confirmation. Once you give us a thumbs up, we CNC plasma cut it out of 063 5 series aluminum and pan break it to directly the specifications that we agreed upon. Now this is thin, isn't it? You've yes. Got a, you've got a, a, narrow, a narrow profile, so some of us have some problems with uh, right, right. by the time we stack the air conditioning condenser and, and, and the radiator. Yes. And, oh. Right, so yeah, um, because again, the motors are very power dense, uh, this motor at the back of the motor is 2.7 inches thick. Wow, and. Yeah, and it produces a lot of power as you just saw. 
uh, versus a lot of other fans who do the same amount of work, you need more like four and a half inches. Sounds like you've done your homework on this. Uh, Delta PAG, they've, uh, they've solved that problem that we all have. Those hot motors are getting cool. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, John.